Hi, do you want to remember how to read a full book? How often you have found yourself that you read so many books like textbooks, newspaper, magazine, journals, reference books, or non-fiction books. And after reading a book, you'll forget the next day. After one week, you'll forget the whole information. Not only you, thousands of people in the world, they experience this. You read a book today, and after some time, you'll forget 50% of the information. And you'll forget 80% information after one day. And you'll forget 100% information after one week. Why this happens? Is your memory terribly poor? Or is it not working for you? Now, how memory is related to remembering or reading a book? Hi, I'm Rakesh Mohan. I'm a memory and study skill expert. Watch this video till the end if you want to learn the technique of how to remember a whole book. Okay, I've been training the students, participants, and people of how to read a book and how to remember a book. See, reading a book is not just like mugging up information or using the by hearting method or rote method of information. Usually in our school, we have been trained right from our childhood days to remember the information by by hearting. Now, because of this by hearting method, what happens is when you read a book, you'll understand what is mentioned, what is there in the book, but you don't enjoy reading a book. And by because of that, you don't enjoy reading a book, you have been forced only to remember for examination point of view or some particular purpose. When you don't know what exactly is the purpose of reading a book and if you don't enjoy it, how can you remember it? For example, you may be going for a, a picnic with your friends. Don't you enjoy the picnic? Or you may go with your family, friends or family outside. You don't enjoy it or you don't enjoy two and a half hours of a movie. Yes, we enjoy a movie, we enjoy a picnic, we enjoy a journey. But why can't we enjoy uh, reading a book? Is it because it's only full of words, full of paragraphs, full of sentences? No. First thing is, the way you enjoy a movie, you have to start first enjoy reading a book. You should enjoy a particular person, particular author, what exact his style of writing a book. Once you know, start enjoying reading a book, automatically 90% of the work is done. That means you can remember whatever it is written on that book. First thing is, you have to start enjoying it. Enjoy reading a book. Ask yourself, what is the benefit of reading this particular book? When you ask yourself, you'll find a purpose. When you find a purpose, oh, this is the practical purpose of reading this book, and this is the benefit what I'm going to get from this book. Once you know the practical usage of the book, see, you will start enjoying reading book like anything. You just like reading a book will become like watching a movie for two and a half hours. That means reading a 250 pages or 300 pages of book, you can finish very quickly because you know your goal is very clear. When your goal is very clear, reaching the goal will be very clear. When you don't have a goal, you don't know the direction. So am I right? You don't know the direction and you're going in a haphazard direction and you'll not reach your goal. So by reading a book, by establishing the purpose of reading a book, you will set a goal and you also know the direction. That means you know what is given in the book. You know what to study in the book, but you'll know how to read that book. You'll come to know, you come to idea, the technique of reading a book. And this is the difference between an average person and a brilliant person. A brilliant person who remembers everything in a book, he knows how to read a book, where exactly he has to remember what he has to do with that, and to remember that book, what he has to do. He knows how part of it. And this is what I'm going to do in this video. Stay till the end. Pause this video till the end. If you want to understand, uh, pause it, rewatch the video again, and share this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. You'll find some amazing videos related to you like this. Okay. Now, first thing, when you're starting, you established the benefit of reading a book, you'll start enjoying reading a book. Okay, that is one part. Now, coming to the main technique, just you have to follow four steps. Four simple steps of reading a book. When you're reading a non-fiction book, fiction books are related imaginary characters. It's just like a novel. We'll forget it. We are not worried about uh, fiction book. We are worried about non-fiction book like textbooks, self-development books, uh, general knowledge books, current affair books, which is of useful for you or preparing for competitive exams or any general things also. Okay. First thing is you have to make keynotes. When you're reading information, if you find some particular sentence, particular paragraph, particular words are important for you or important from examination point of view, take a highlighter, you underline the 
<clears throat> underline the paragraphs, underline the sentences, underline the words, and make keynotes of it. What is keynotes? Keynotes is nothing but a group of words which gives a specific meaning, but not a sentences. Just you're underlining the important ones. As you read along the book, read in a present continuous tense. And whatever you're able to understand, whatever important things are there, whatever you feel is important, underline those keywords by making the keynotes. First step. Second step, what you have to do is make these keynotes separately. Make one a separate book. Other than what you have book, keep a separate notebook only for making keynotes. Okay, now we have read a book and you have underlined the keynotes and under, after underlining that, it is not the end of end. What you have to do, keep, keep one small separate notebook and under, write all the keynotes what you have written from the book. This is the second step what you have to do. And third step what you have to do is organize. Neatly organize, topic-wise, 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 organize the keynotes. Okay, topic one, this all the notes related to topic one, topic two, all the keynotes related to topic two, topic three, all the keynotes related to topic three. So by organizing all the you know, keynotes related to topic, you're <laughs> systematically organizing that information, which helps you to remember the information. And fourth step is very simple, revise your keynotes. After making a systematic organization of the keynotes, revise, revise one or two or three times. Ask yourself question related to the particular topic. That's all. You don't have to do anything else. Step one, make keynotes by using a highlighter. Step two, organize the keynotes in a rough notebook or a notebook. Step three, organize the keynotes topic wise, one by one, one by one. And step four, revise from the keynotes. That's all. And follow this for seven days. Take daily one book and do this for seven days. And from eighth day onwards, even if you want to forget the information, you can't forget the information after reading the book. This is the ideal technique. This is a smart technique used by some smart readers throughout the world. You take Bill Gates, you take Warren Buffett, you take Abraham Lincoln, you take Swami Vekaranda Ji. I think examples of millions of people who are smart readers. Even if you want to become a smart reader, Follow these four steps and you'll never complain me of having a poor memory for reading books. If you enjoyed this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel. And I'll be coming with some amazing and exciting videos for you. Thank you very much for watching.